Halo 3 Mythic Overhaul Campaign is a mod created by Mythic Jacui. This is part two, and I will be playing through two campaign missions, Crow's Nest and Savo Highway. I will be covering them briefly to give you a sense of what each level looks and plays like, but as I often do with mod coverage, I do not show you every single detail. As part of experiencing a mod like this is finding something new you didn't expect, but glad you did. Halo 3 character models will wield weapons imported from Halo Reach, like these ODSTs with DMRs and these UNSC Marines with the Halo Reach assault rifle. This mod also changes the Halo 3 Magnum model since there is already the Reach Magnum and the Combat Evolved Magnum available in this mod, so you've got to differentiate them somehow. The weapon sandbox in this mod has been reworked, along with the AI and vehicles. And that sweet mythic Jaquie headshot effect is in this mod. And look at the details of the Master Chief's armor, the tiny imperfections and grooves within the paint. It's as if you know what the armor feels like. The MA5K carbine is available in this level just like Sierra 117. This is what it looks like in the artwork, and this is what it looks like in the mod. Stop. Coming out of the vent! The whole swarm! You may or may not find various easter eggs within this mod, but when you do, those easter eggs may be a new weapon, like this double barrel shotgun that packs a powerful kick and punch. That double barrel shotgun is so much fun to use. The increased blood splatter and cracking of the Covenant skulls in this mod makes it all too satisfying. Even the Arbiter is a fan of it and will wield it no problem. Much like with the launch of Retail Halo 3 back in 2007, this makes me want to kick back with some Mountain Dew game fuel and play this mod because it is experiencing Halo 3 in a new way. Despite the levels being the same, I felt like each corner I turned, there was something different, like meeting a longtime friend. They're the same in some ways, but changed for the better, hopefully. In general, the whole mod feels to be of faster discipline. Everything is quicker without being a Twitch-like shooter, meaning the graceful and smooth flow of Halo is all intact, after playing Halo 3 for 15 years, this is a welcomed change of pace. No, not the time. Something worth noting in this mod. This picture was taken by Mythic Jaquie, which shows the bullets coming from the barrel of the firearm. In retail, you may have noticed the bullets and plasma bolts actually come from the character model's face. This has to do with the reticle lining up for a clear shot on your screen and doesn't consider the actual location of the barrel, which is slightly to the right given that the weapon is in the arms of the player or the character, not in the face. In this mod, you will have to compensate for where your barrel is actually located. 
load up some game fuel, and enjoy my condensed playthrough with the full sound because I feel as though sometimes I babble on too much without letting the mod play. I'll chime in to explain a few things for the following mission. I hope this video gives you some great insight about this mod and you play it yourself for the true experience. <laughs> I had no idea this light could move. I don't think this is part of the mod. Wow. Oh, you need to do that like all the time. Some of the Marines and I have the Assault Rifle Grenade Launcher. You'll see it in this mod. The bubble shields in this mod have colors coordinating to the integrity health of the bubble shield. That's some good old integrity bubble shielding. Here's the plasma turret that you can wield in first person in this mod. Sit your ass down. Jump in. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I got a All right. Let's ride. Okay, Russell Wilson, calm down. Here you'll see me throw down an ammo pack, which is part of the equipment that you can pick up in this mod. With how wild and frantic the gameplay is in this mod, there is a surplus of ammo.
I highly recommend playing this Halo 3 mod. To download it, click on the link in the description below and check out my other videos I've made.